Hey guys, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's 9.30 on, I don't even know what day it is, Sunday. I never know what day it is. It's 9.30 on Sunday night. And I actually fell asleep earlier for a couple of hours. So I just got up around 9. I was exhausted from from yesterday but let me show you what's left over from the party it's a little bit of a mess here there's the tables all empty there's some of the pumpkins pineapple Dave's sister carved <laughs> I got this table to deal with this isn't it's not too bad and of course, I gotta put the couch back. There's half of it. And there's some more. And there's this over here. A couple of people actually stayed late last night and helped do a lot. So that was really nice. But I have some stuff to do still. This is a big old bag of books I'm gonna show you guys. And then the kitchen. This is a mess. It really should be a lot worse though. There's Brooke's cookie. She decorated. Isn't that cute? Here's the one our friend decorated. She put a gold tea on it. <laughs> so I got some stuff to do. Pat washed all these. So those are all clean. Not too bad. So I'm just getting ready to sit down and have some soup. And I'm going to do a haul on all the books. I went over to the consignment store today because I keep going back and looking at that desk that I told you guys about. And I thought I was going to buy it today, but then I didn't. <laughs> So I can't make up my mind about it. Oh, look at these flowers. Pat and Katie brought me these. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. That was so sweet of them. They brought me those and this really cute bag. Look at this. <laughs> and this stuff was inside. Little post-its. Match the bag. And a notebook. I thought that was so sweet. And these were inside too. These are absolutely beautiful. They're the baskets that you can hang on the wall. Look at how pretty they are. Actually, the colors are kind of kind of fall colors. So there's that one, and there's this one. I thought that was so sweet. And they also brought me. These. <laughs> Let me put some more light on in here. See, Pat thinks it's funny that I think these wart looking gourds are disgusting. So she thought it would be good to bring me one. <laughs> so she brought me that one and this one. This one's not as bad. That one's awful. This one. And this pumpkin. These were all inside the baskets. And this one is my favorite. It looks like an acorn. So that was cute. Michelle actually brought a salad over and she got me this bowl. She, she made the salad and put it in that. But it's a leaf bowl. And that was so sweet. And I didn't expect anybody to bring me stuff. And then let me show you what Jen and the girls brought me. absolutely beautiful. There's some of the trash from last night. Oh, you guys can't see it that good. I'll have to show you in the daytime. But it's just a, you know, a pot of mums. But they're red and they're just gorgeous. I'll show you tomorrow when it's bright out. I got the light on, but it's not working to see that for some reason. 
Hey, Bobo. Oh, the boys didn't have fun. <laughs> Come on. There's too many people here for them. Hello. Good boy. That's that. I think I think people had a good time. I hope they did. We didn't wind up getting to bed till like three in the morning. Which I can't remember the last time I stayed up till three in the morning. And I think um, the last couple of people left around 1. So it was pretty light. But it was a pretty good time. I'm exhausted though. Oh, look at this. Dave went to Walmart yesterday to pick up some stuff for cards and for the party. And he came back with this book for me. I got all types of spoiled yesterday. I thought that was so sweet. It has all kinds of recipes in it for Thanksgiving. So we'll have to check some of those out. Dope. Alright. So let me do this. Yeah, I'm going to do a book haul. I have a big old bag of books that I went and got today. Don't look at the bed, it's a mess. <laughs> I was just sleeping in it, that's why. <laughs> oh, Linda brought over these too. She brought over some cups for the Keurig. She brought green tea, this is her favorite. So she stocks, stocks it up here <laughs> for when she comes over, she has plenty. And then she got a couple for the party. She got the hot apple cider. This was really good. You have to double up on it though or it's too weak. And then this one, raspberry chocolate truffle. I don't know, we have never tried that. So she brought those over. Alright, back to the other room. Got my soup. This is that, what was it, creamy gouda bisque or something? I hope you guys can see good enough in here. Oh, chicken. Ch Gouda chicken bisque. That's what it is. It's raining again. Not that you can see that, but it is. My voice probably sounds very boring in this video. I'm still tired. Hey, Bobo. Who you tired too, huh? Alright, so let me show you guys what I got. I'm all excited here. I haven't even read the other books I got, but... <laughs> whatever. I got a lot of good deals. So, I got... A, I got a couple... And this is going to sound ridiculous, but... I like to have books that are, like, about the holidays that are coming, or, you know... Uh, the season or whatever at Christmas time and Thanksgiving I have some books that I put out and those are mostly kid books but they're just it's just cute to have them but I also got a couple adult books so all right let's see we will start with this pile so I got this one what I Call Life by Jill Wolfson. I've never read anything of hers, I don't think. I paid $2 for this. And what is this one? Okay, it's about an 11 year old that has to be her mother's mother. So her mother's not the not the mother in type. And the daughter eventually winds up in a foster home. What I call life. This is that one. And then this was a movie that came out a while ago that I wanted to go see and I never did. 
But this is the book for it. It's called Under the Tuscan Sun. And it's about this woman that it's she takes a chance and moves to Italy. Uh, she's a cook and what else? A writer. Yeah, so so this looked interesting to me when the movie came out and I really wanted to see it. I don't know why I never got to see it, but the book's always better anyways. Now I got these. This is Janet Ev I I'm not even gonna butcher her name. But she does the Stephanie Plum series. She's a bounty hunter. If any of you guys have ever read any of her books. Oh yeah, see? Stephanie Plum. They're really good. They're they're funny. And this is number 13. They're all numbered in the title. Like the first one, I believe, is called One for the Money. Or something like that. I don't know. I know I've showed them to you before, but... So this is 13, and it's called... the 13th. This is the 13th book. And it's called Lean Mean 13. And I have not got through up to 13 yet. But... I had to grab it because, let me see, I paid, I paid two dollars for it, so, and eventually I'll get up to this one. And then she has some other ones that are, she has a series, and it goes, I don't even know how many books there is, but then she has these in-between books, and there's, there's a couple of them, I'm not sure how many, but there's a couple in-between the books and it's just like a like a side side book does that, <laughs> does that make sense anyways this one is called plum spooky so let me see I don't know I haven't read any of the in-between books see between between the numbers novel so I'm not sure if these go with the series or if they're I mean, it's got to be somewhat with it. Yeah, she's still a bounty hunter and all that, so. So, I'm going to try that out because I haven't got any of the in-between ones. Okay, and then we have this one, Break at Night. And this is a memoir, if that's even how you say it. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. And I love reading these. Um, this one is by Liz Murray. And it is about... Forgiveness, survival, and my journey from homeless to Harvard. Oh, maybe that's what this is. Did you guys ever see that movie? Homeless to Harvard? That was really good. Maybe that's what this is. I'm not sure. Okay, and then I found this. I don't know. Has anybody read this? The Griffin Mage? This is by Rachel... I don't know how to pronounce her name. And I guess this is a series. And these actually are not books that I would usually buy. Oh, wait. I didn't tell you how much this one was. This one was three fifty. Now, these aren't books I would usually buy. And... Let me see. But I read the back of it, and it sounded pretty good. It was $5. Uh, it's huge. And it just happened to be book one of the series. I think there's three? Three or four. And this is about um, a woman that lives in a village, and she's supposed to grow up to be an herb healer and for the village. And she doesn't... Oh, sorry about that glare, guys. She doesn't fit in, and there's something a little off about her, and then the Griffins come and take her and bring her to be their healer, and I don't know. It's all this crazy stuff. I don't know. It sounded all right to me. Okay, yeah, there is three of them. So this is book one. I'm going to check it out. Let's see... What else do we got here? Ah, this one sounded really good. The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake. 
This is by oops, Amy Bender. And it's about this little girl who can taste her mother's emotions in her cooking. And you know what? It's just a book, but I'm telling you, I so would believe something like that. <laughs> and it's not just her mother's cooking. She find, finds out after that she can taste everybody's emotions in everybody's cooking. So, this sounds really good. Like something I would like, so I'm going to check that out. And that was $2.50. Okay, I got quite a bit. This one, A Reliable Wife, Robert Gulrick, and this one was $1.50. And this is about a man that put a ad in the paper, Chicago paper, actually, for a simple, honest woman. And it turns out that she's not exactly simple and honest. She wants to marry him and kill him <laughs> because she wants to become a wealthy widow that's a little harsh huh all right next <laughs> this is funny target underwear and Vera Wang gown this is a Dina helper how I don't know notes from a single girl's closet and this is about a woman that borrows clothes from everybody she knows to either fit in or look important or, you know, anything like that. And she does not give any of the clothes back. <laughs> so, we'll see how that one is. The title is great. <laughs> Next we have this one, another memoir, and it's called Crazy Enough by Storm Lodge. That is actually her real name. And this is about a girl whose mother had been diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar and multiple personality disorder and depression. And the girl is, the daughter's worried that she's going to wind up like that, and she goes and asks the doctor, and he tells her, of course, you're going to be, it's hereditary, and and it just takes off from there. So that, that sounded really good. Let's see, what did I pay for that? I paid two twenty five. So as you can see, I got some really good deals on these books, because a lot of them, the dates were further enough along to where they were at the cheapest price. So, okay, this one is Debbie McComber. McComber, I don't know. I think this isn't a new book or anything. I, I think I've seen this one. And this is called Trading Christmas. So this is one of the Christmas, Christmassy books I've got. I got. And this was $5. This is about a widow mother of one decides to leave her um, hometown to spend Christmas with her daughter in Boston. So that sounded pretty neat. And then she meets a guy that has been trying to avoid Christmas altogether. They actually swap houses for the holidays and one goes to Boston, you know, and the mother finds out that the daughter has gone to Florida and the guy that goes to her house doesn't realize that he's gone to a town that is actually Santa's village the guy that's trying to avoid Christmas so I know it sounded kind of funny and that was probably an awful um okay I am so tired I can't even freaking talk like worse than usual Okay, and the other one I got is Blue Christmas, large print, I love large print, 
Look at that. <laughs> That's by Mary Kay Andrews. This one is about, this one's about a woman that owns an antique store and all of a sudden stuff starts to go missing from her store and then from from there on it just keeps going kind of crazy. So I don't think I'm giving you guys a very good description of all these books and it is mostly because I'm tired. But if you want a better description of any of them, just let me know and, you know, I can always do another video and read the backs of them to you. Um, I got this one too. This is called The Mid Midford Years. It's by Jane Karen and it's a little series and there's actually three books in it. And I have not much of an idea of what these are about, but they all take place in this little, little town. It's supposed to be a little quirky, charming town. So, I don't know. I'll check those out. Is that it? Yes. So, I got quite a bit of books. <laughs> I can't wait to start reading some of them, too. Whenever the heck that is. But, anyways, I am going to go and hopefully start this week off fresh with some more energy because right now I'm beat Bo's beat too <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow on Monday I hope you guys had a good Sunday say good night good night guys <laughs>